Each week, American History TV's Real America brings you archival films that help tell the story of the 20th century. In the third of a five-part look at Hollywood directors who made films for the U.S. government during World War II, we feature director John Ford and the 18-minute documentary he made for the U.S. Navy about the June 1942 Battle of Midway. The film presented a victory in vivid color to an American public eager for some good news in the year following Pearl Harbor. But first, we speak with author Mark Harris about John Ford. Battle of Midway was the first time that a major American filmmaker uh, was there to film an engagement. It was the middle of 1942. Um, the war in Europe was not obviously happening yet as far as uh, the uh, U.S. was concerned. So all of the news, all of the concentration, all of the effort was uh, spent in the Pacific uh, trying to hold off the Japanese in, in various places um, while the Navy uh, attempted to rebuild its fleet to full strength after the damage done by Pearl Harbor. Um, and most of the news uh, in the six months after Pearl Harbor that had come out of the war was not good for the U.S. Midway uh, was the first point at which uh, we won a successful major engagement, and Ford was there. He had been uh, put aboard a ship from Hawaii and um, taken to Midway without knowing that a battle was coming. He said later that he assumed that he was there to make uh, a documentary about life at a remote naval outpost. And instead, when he got there, he learned that a Japanese attack was uh, imminent and that the U.S. was prepared. So uh, on the morning of Midway, he was stationed uh, on the roof of a, a powerhouse with, with a camera and um, uh, a couple of uh, men from his unit who also had cameras. Uh, perfectly positioned to uh, capture incoming Japanese zeros. And uh, he, was, he, he was alternating shooting footage and being on the phone to uh, the naval officers below, just telling them what he was seeing. And he shot until um, uh, a piece of uh, shrapnel hit him in the arm and, and uh, knocked the film and his camera out of its sprockets. And, um, uh, you know, he, he was the first uh, Hollywood filmmaker to be wounded in action. It's impossible to overstate the impact that this movie had. By the end of its run, because it's a short movie, it didn't show instead of Hollywood features, it showed in addition to them. Uh, by the end of its run, it had played in three quarters of all of the movies in the United States. Um, what what you should look for in this movie is, first of all, the fact that it was made in color. We take that for granted now, but it was shocking and unprecedented for uh, audiences then to see real events like this in color. The color had been reserved for fantasies like The Wizard of Oz or historical epics like uh, Gone with the Wind or, you know, uh, fashion shows or lavish musicals. Black and white was considered oddly, as, as it may sound, more realistic. So this was one of the first examples of color realism. Thank you. 